Welcome back to McCarthy Performance. We're putting the uh, oil pump on the uh, 383. Um, uh, this is what I do to my oil pumps. I take them apart. Um, make sure that the uh, valve isn't sticking in the body because it can happen. I've also seen coarse sand in the pumps, so I take them apart. Of course... I silicon braze the pickup on, and of course you don't want to do that with the spring in it, so I take it apart. It's all been washed. Check it for burrs, um, and put it back together. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, of course, I adjusted the height, and I adjust the height from the pan to the pickup body, or I should say pickup pump screen and I use just simple old play-doh the bag the pump comes in I put it over the screen so you don't want play-doh getting stuck up in this screen and once I adjust it I mark it and then I uh, tig braze it on and then uh, wash it blow it out a couple of times and we're going to put her together um, sometimes you get a little bit of a burr where the retaining pin goes through here. Uh, I, I break that off a little bit and the spool valve will usually just come right out. So it's all been blown off and it's all been cleaned and we're going to put it together now. Um, obviously this can go in really one way, uh, it's hollowed out. That's where the spring goes. I'm going to wipe the body off just a little bit. Apply a little bit of oil to it. And then uh, what I do is uh, I call it burping it. And I'll burp this thing. It'll make a, a brap noise. Um, make sure that the Spool valve, if you want to call it that. That's what I'm going to call it today. That's the way the spring goes in. They used to have a retainer on the earlier ones. Now they just got a tighter curl so the, the pin will lay in there correctly. And uh, we're going to put her in there. Get it started. Take the back side of the drift punch, push it in there like so. Push the other side of the spring. You don't want to get the pin wrapped around the spring. It can happen. So you want to you want to make sure that you're out of the way and you're free and clear of driving the pin in. Helps if you got a helper, you can hold this. Okay. So it's all together. And uh, we're going to blow... Um, there's a little burr there. We're going to scrape that burr off there. We're going to wash it again, and then I'm going to make sure that uh, we blow it out with the air. Sometimes I'll just take the punch, and I'll just set it on the side a little bit and close the hole up shade keep anything from wanting to walk out Sorry about that bypass valve with a little o-ring tool like that that i've modified for doing other things but it something with a little hook on it you can go in this hole here and you can just kind of push on it you can feel it moving you just want to make sure that it's free and clear there's nothing grit on it or you can take a non-osha approved 
low nozzle. This one's got a little bit of a rubber uh, boot on it. Well, actually, it had a rubber boot. Now it's got some electrical tape. But anyways, if you just put it in the hole, don't run a lot of line pressure and don't sit there for a half an hour. But if you just sit there and you just put it in there and you give it a little, you can hear it pop. And that's what you need to know. And um, put a little red Loctite on the bolts uh, when I got the pump body on the engine. So we'll be moving to the engine to put that on. And then, you know, we'll check it again. Yep, it's nice and free. Um, I've got the pump with uh, break-in uh, lubricant, uh, Joe Gibbs assembly lube. Okay, before we move over to the engine, I'll go over the pan really quick. I always check the pans, make sure they fit pretty decent, that the pump don't hit on the back part of the pan. Sometimes they do. Sometimes you got to pop that out. On a, on a two-piece pan where it's welded right here on a big block shovel A, and on some Fords and that, you got to make sure that the main cap or the pump, oil pump body don't hit. Sometimes you got to take and you got to massage that out a little bit. I take all this out and I blow it all out, wash it all out, and make sure there's nothing in it. So then we're going to move over to the engine here. So we've got um, sub lube on the, the pump gears. And I've got the pump all washed out, and I always take the pumps apart. No ifs, ands, or buts. And the reason why is because I found core sand in some of these pumps. I'm not going to say whose pump. I'm going to tell you it's not their pump. But I've seen stuff like that, and I've also seen the caps not fitting very good, and I've, I've lapped the cap. You've got to be careful if you lap the body. There's an X amount of clearance here. Probably about three thousand. You're going to want the gears not to be perfectly flush with the pump body. You'll dig into the pump face. So we'll, we got this all cleaned. We got it all set to go. We're going to put it on. I'm going to put one screw in it just to hold it, and I'm going to put a little tiny bit of red Loctite on these. Just an insurance policy um, doesn't necessarily need to be done. Makes me feel better. I can sleep better at night knowing it. I'll do it. You can do it if you want. Um, I do it on mine. You don't want to put too much red Loctite on here because sometimes these pumps aren't machined as good as they could be. The Loctite does. I've seen it where it's migrated into the pump faceplate cap whatever you want to call it so I just put a little tiny bit on a little bit goes a long ways um, you know you don't have to pile it on um, you know we're not worried about the next guy um, we're worried about uh, the pump staying together usually that's not a problem These have lock washers on them. I haven't seen one of them fail. I've seen lock washers fail in the past. I'm not a big uh, fan of any lock washers on any components inside the engine that require to hold anything. Put a little more on that one. Sidetracked by the screw. Okay, we're going to oil up the wrist pins. I always like to give them a couple good squirts before I uh, put the pan on. I lube them before I uh, put them in, but I always like to put a little bit more on them. Oil don't hurt. 
Okay, I put a small bead on my gasket. I used trim adhesive on the gasket to the block so it won't slip around. I put a little bit of RTV around the corners of my end gaskets and I go around the back. There's a gap here on the front cover. I always put some in there. Now I'm, uh, I've given it a once over. I trimmed the gasket a little bit here back here and I took the two little tiny alignment clips off the front because the seal was a interfering with that so we're going to put the pan down i got everything tight i've checked everything i've looked everything over it's time to put the pan on now i put a little bit of rtv on the end rails and i put a little bit of rtv on the pan end rails too now sometimes i put the rtv on the pan sometimes i put it on the gasket just depends on what day it is and what color socks somewhere in that day. I mean, it really don't matter as long as it gets there, it is. And the reason why I do this is because a long time ago, uh, a lot of the end rails weren't as cleanly stamped as they could be. There's nothing worse than putting a pan all the way down and realizing that it's not seating as good as you'd like and then have to take it back off. So that's just kind of an automatic thing that I've been doing for the last 30 years. Okay, I'll be finishing bolting the pan down. I thought I'd add this. This is a uh, punch. And a lot of times, um, I'll, don't tighten anything down on the pan till you have all the screws in. Sometimes you got to do a little wiggling around and moving the pan and start the next screw while you got this in the hole and push the pan. Uh, this pan lined up pretty good, but I had to do that. And what I do is you just stick it in the hole like that. And you just kind of push it one way or the other until you get it started and then the pan will go down um that i thought i'd add um so we're tightening the pan down there's probably uh, not going to be a whole lot more to this uh video i'm going to uh, do the uh, fish rod roller arm roller rocker arm uh, geometry on this i've done a fair amount of these engines with this size cam with these rods and everything these pistons these heads so i kind of know what uh, push rod i need um but before i order it i will go through and check it but um piston to valve clearance and everything should be no problem with this cam so um i'll maybe make a video on how i do that but uh it's pretty simple straightforward stuff um so i'll finish up putting the pan on a um, little quick video. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay, something that I left out of the video that I don't think I uh, had uh, mentioned it before. But I have this uh, blow nozzle. I've got an extended tip on it. Now, you could use anything that's long. But what I always do before the pan is down, I've already done this. I've already checked this. But you want to make sure this has got a built-in windage tray in this pan. And if you have a standoff tray, and it's an aftermarket one, uh, on a big block shovel A, uh, you always want to make sure that the, uh, the dipstick tube hole does not interfere with the tray. Uh, I can put that all the way in there. I can hear it hitting the bottom of the pan. I've already verified it. You can see it goes on an angle, and I have this much in there. There's nothing worse than putting a pan on and an aftermarket tray and then trying to put the stick in and trying to read the pan, how much oil's in it, when it won't even go in. I've been there. There's a couple trays that you got to watch out for. They're not on the small block. They're on the big block. The Milladon and the Moroso. you got to watch out for them. A lot of times the tube... Uh, when it goes into the pan on a big block, it does not line up with the tray that's on the standoffs. So I mentioned that. Uh, I thought I would uh, save somebody some grief out there maybe. Uh, but she's all down as tight as it needs to be until it dries. And then I will um, clean up a little bit of this and draw them up.